seven secret signs you might have spiritual gift but don't know about it if you see these signs in your life know that you have spiritual gift which you may not know about it but by god's grace after today's video you will know and i will tell you one or two ways of making sure that those spiritual gifts manifest but before then please give this video a thumbs up so that youtube are going read it we shift it to other people that need it as so do so may god bless you welcome back to this our beautiful family in this channel we pray strategy prayers we read the word of god in and out we believe in balance because actually the bible said faith with your work is dead if this is the very first time you are finding yourself in this our beautiful family you are highly welcome please kindly hit the red subscribe button and the bell notification so as to always get my next upload for my returning subscribers, I love you so much. Thank you for always stopping by. So without wasting time, let's dive in. Number one is this, intuition and discernment. Believe me, the Bible actually said in John 14, 26, that when the Holy Spirit comes, he will teach us all truth. You know, when Jesus was living this earth, he makes a promise that is living but bringing the holy spirit that when this holy spirit comes he's going to teach us all truth meaning that there are certain hidden truth that is yet to be revealed that only holy spirit will reveal now when you start having that discernment that intuition that inner feeling still small voice telling you that you have a spiritual gift that look at your spiritual gift my idea it simply means you have so long as you know that you have holy spirit you have guardian angel you are attuned with god and then one way or the other as a child of god you hear the voice of your father you know the voice of your father there are diverse ways god speak once you're having that intuition and assignment my dear you have a spiritual gift number two is this unexplained knowing the bible made us understand in first corinthians 12 verse 8 that god gives some people word of knowledge word of wisdom working of miracle faith the same but the same spirit now when there is that utterance of wisdom that comes from you in the sense that sometimes you say something and suddenly that thing is the way it is know that you are spiritually gifted let's take for instance you see you see a woman carrying a child and you still tell the woman that you are not married and you don't have a child and later it happens that that child does not actually belong to the woman and what you said is true know that you have a spiritual gift and one way or the other god is making you to understand it so whenever somehow you say something and you see that in later it come to pass let's say for instance you come out in the morning generally then sun is beating heavily with heat as we are experiencing right now everywhere are hot there is no single sign that rain is going to fall but suddenly you say rain will fall today that rain will fall today and later later before the day runs and rain actually fell my dear you have spiritual gift that need to be developed exploited and used for god's glory number three is deep empathy I will say in the book of I think Romans 12 verse 15 that we should weep with those that are weeping, rejoice with those that are rejoicing. Whenever you notice that you have deep compassion over your fellow human being, that whenever your fellow human being is passing through some challenges, you are just like putting yourself in the shoe of that person as if you are the one passing through that and you carry it upon yourself trying to figure out solution for that person my dear you are spiritually gifted it won't take time your spiritual gift will begin to manifest in fact this is one of the things that i have, that I have my spiritual gift because one way or the other i always see myself in a deep compassion i feel for what people felt i can never forget when i was a teacher in secondary school it happened that one of the students just rush like this and drop her books and say she will not do economics again and i called and say what is the matter she now told me that you know that she have failed a uh, last time and you can't fail twice in this school that in other words that she's repeating because that time i was new in that school that if she fail again that she's going to repeat that she have tried everything to understand and then be able to adapt to this economics but she couldn't that she's just frustrated and i asked her the subject she's doing i noticed that she's doing 
art courses like social science courses and art courses i told her that, that one thing you should know that is economics is very important because it, it is a key to get to many professions for example you can't do banking and finance with your economics you can't do accountancy with your economics you can't do insurance with your economics you can't do even economics itself without economics you can't do so i now told her that she need to be doing economics that what will happen is that let me take her on one-on-one -on -one lesson without charging her anything free of charge everything let's see what happens i started taking her on one-on-one -on -one lesson today that lady is a graduate of convenant university with economics that was what she was frustrated that was empathy i put myself in her shoe that if this lady drop economics now she's in the middle of nowhere considering her courses she may not even conveniently get admission into the university because of the combination of her courses that this is a key to her future so i have to opt to start giving her personal lecture though it later paid off because when the mother found out i never knew that she was daughter of late professor that wealthy the mother took it upon herself and started paying me giving me free gift but initially it was for free so when you see yourself you always have deep empathy not just sympathy sympathy good empathy goes beyond sympathy over people's situation you are spiritually gifted number four is dreams and vision believe me dreams don't lie vision don't lie the true nature of human being is revealed in a dream because man is made up of physical and metaphysical physical is this physical body we are seeing metaphysical is made up of spirit and soul and spiritual rules the physical whatever you see yourself doing in your dream is actually what you are physically that's why when you see yourself in the dream you are under attack know that physically serious attack is happening in your life likewise whenever you are observing certain things happening in the dream in your life let's say for instance you always see yourself praying for people in the dream and they are getting liberated you always see yourself conducting a kind of powerful deliverance some people will even have the dream and come and tell you like when i was still in active teaching i never knew that my ministry is up to this level i can never forget the day one of our teachers come to school and started telling me that she saw me in the dream that i was delivering a lot of people that come and see cloud some people that are a kind of cripple we are walking and so on and so forth and then sometimes i'll see also myself in the dream and make i, I missed all these notable no men of god in the world today so i don't need any prophet to tell you that there is a calling that is tilting me towards that direction so likewise your dream will always show you that you have a calling and above all if you see yourself dreaming inside dream you are dreaming inside that dream you are still dreaming again you have a serious calling and again if you see yourself picking man go in the dream man go it is also an indication that you have a, a spiritual gift that you may not even know another one is this once you notice that you have healing abilities you may even be a nurse a doctor selling drugs but once you give people drugs they buy it through your hand they get instant a kind of healing that even if they have gone to other places it didn't work but once it's through you they will see the difference my dear you have spiritual gift even though you might not know about it but that is a sign of somebody that is spiritually gifted it might even be just a cup of water that you give somebody it makes lots and lots of difference in the life of the person so much so that people will be designed to come and collect something from you they will be confessing that whenever they collect something from you that there is a difference like something happened in my location anytime i did not go out with car or we did not go out with car and then i have to a kind of take bike it happens that uh, uh, when I, whenever I come to a particular junction where I was supposed to pick bike, I notice that a particular bike will, bike man will rush unless he's not here. He will even want to carry me with smaller amount of money, more less than what I supposed to pay. Then one day he now told me, "Do I know why he used to carry me? I don't even know." He now said that any day he carries me, that he will continue getting customers throughout that day. And any amount he will tell that customer, the customer will pay without any form of bargaining. So that is a kind of grace 
or spiritual calling if you notice that such a thing is happening in your life for example once i go to market i want to buy something i notice that as if they call cloud to come and buy that particular thing that my presence always draws cloud most of the times when i see somebody that is selling and it seems that that person is lamenting that they didn't sell much that they are intentionally enter that even if i'm not buying i'll start pricing that product because i know that certainly some people must come around and patronize that person i will now stay there before you know it a lot of people after i'll tell that person did you notice what happened that i came here a lot of people that that is what normally happened i'll smile and go so when you are noticing such a thing around you you are spiritually gifted even if you don't know about it now another one is what i call synchronicity and science whenever you are seeing certain numbers maybe when you want to sleep you dream you are seeing one 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 you are seeing seven seven you are seeing eight eight once there is a kind of array of number combined together you are seeing the same number eight 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 three 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 every time it happening it is happening either in your dream or in your waking life you are passing as if it flash in your eyes and then probably in the office you come across such a number you go to shopping mall something happened to a such number you suddenly look at your clock to shake time it is three 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 at that time most of the time happen from time to time you are spiritually gifted the last but not the least is that whenever you see yourself connecting to nature you like nature a lot all your feeding is always nature you abhor things that are non-natural for instance you like eating egg at all times you like garlic ginger and the anything that is nature my idea that is a sign that you are spiritually gifted but you may not know so please discover that gift and god will help you to manifest them time will fail me to tell you how to manifest but i made a, a little video in the past how you can actually manifest your spiritual gift watch that video and get some value then in my next video about spiritual gift i'll be telling you what to do to preserve your gift even if it has started manifesting because some people actually think that once you are spiritually gifted you are, you are forever spiritually gifted if you don't harness and maintain it everything need maintenance you will begin to see that that grace is no longer there and that is when somebody's destiny glory star has been manipulated but as so long as you are in this channel by god's grace your glory your star your destiny will continue to shine with your manipulation so please if you have not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe hit the bell notification so as to get my next upload comment on this video share it to everyone my share be helping a lot of people as you do so may god bless you so with this i've come to the end of today's video Bye bye.